Resilience is being able to stay strong and motivated and believe in yourself during hard times. In this video, I'm going to reveal three little tricks, little exercises, things that you can do to ensure that you stay resilient no matter what. Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I am a leadership and empowerment coach at LFY Consulting. And if this is your first time at our channel, we really try to release content focused on helping you create a career in life that you can love. So if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell next to that subscribe button to be notified of new content. Resilience mainly depends on your internal belief in yourself. And that belief, not only just confidence in who you are, but confidence that you can handle and continue striving towards your goals and visions, no matter what happens outside of yourself. So one of the first things that you can do to stay resilient in hard times is to take a look at your future and see that there's a variety of ways to get to where you want to go and accomplish what you want. Let's say you're going through a breakup. Well, take a look at your future and think, are there going to be other people in my life? Let's say you just lost a job. Look at your career goals and say, how else can I get there? You know, when your life changes, when something in the present tense doesn't work out, take a look and figure out a path, the next path or multiple paths that help you believe that what you're trying to work for is still possible. Now, the second thing that you can do is actually take a look at your past successes. Uh, write them down, ask people about them, have conversations, dive into the things that worked, really just highlight the fact that you have been successful, that things have worked out for you in the past. This, this just creates a little bit more internal confidence, belief in yourself, takes you out of the current situation and lets you see things for, for how they really are, that you are fully capable, that you are successful, that you are driven, that you can continue on and experience the same levels of success and more that you have in the past. And just like you looked at the past for your success, you also want to look at the past for defining moments, good and bad. So pick out five memories, maybe 10 if you're feeling like a go-getter right now, and write down how those moments have altered and changed your life. When you, when you take a look at the pivotal moments in your life and you see how they've impacted you, how they've actually led to where you are today, something that you value and the person that you've become, then you realize that anything that happens to you eventually can work out, even if you don't understand how it's going to work out right now. So guys, just pick one of the exercises. If it's looking at your previous successes, if it's future mapping, or if it's understanding your defining moments, just try one of them out. I wanna hear how it goes, so leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you've taken one thing away, if you feel like you're gonna become more resilient moving forwards, make sure you share this with a friend and also subscribe to this channel. Hit the little bell next to that subscribe button to be notified of new content when it's released. And most importantly, everyone, do not forget, keep on living for yourself.